How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Instapot Omni Pro 18. It's an oven and an air fryer. I try to make a rotisserie chicken and the leg sort of rubbed against some of the metal in there because it was a little bit too big. It was a four and a half pound chicken and I just didn't wrap it enough. And it kept on hitting one of these bars. And after I did it, the lug that's on the rotisserie fell off. Let me show you what actually happened. It's this little nut over here that just fell off. But I already took off the motor so we can see it. And I actually reattached it already so it doesn't come off. And it's surprising to me, it's held together by this little pin and it's not a rivet squeezed on both sides. I mushed it a little bit on both ends so it definitely won't fall out anymore. But before those were just straight and it's only held together by an expansion of this little tube thing. So I guess there was a little bit too much resistance as it's turning and it eventually vibrated this loose. So now that it's in there, let's put this back. And while I've got all this taken apart, I want to explain a little bit about the circuitry. The AC comes in over here and one of the AC line distributes power to a lot of different things. This yellow wire is ground. So the AC comes in here, it gives power to the motor, gives power to this heating element, and it runs up here to give power to this heating element. And it runs over here to give power to another heating element in the center of the oven. And it also runs over here to the light for the oven, and it branches off over here to the main board that goes up this way through all this wire and into the main board. These are the heating elements. There are one, two, three, four heating elements. On the other side, it was connected here and here. So it runs through the whole machine, comes out of here, and it gets connected to this heating element and then goes back. So same thing with this bottom one. These turn on at the same time and these turn on at the same time. The door has a little spring over here. The convection motor has this metal blade and it's controlled by these two black wires that goes to the logic board. This is the logic control board. It controls the turning on and off of everything. And over here you got the display and also the touch sensitive front. So for the bottom coils, it runs in here through there, it gets connected by a wire to this one and then goes back. Same thing for these heating elements here. The power goes in here, goes through this element, jumps through a wire to this element, and then goes back. And then there's yet a third heating element right here in this coil, and the fan is right up there. There's also a temperature sensor right here. It's just like a little nub. So when you open up the door, there's also a switch here to let the machine knows that you have the door open. This thing over here is the temperature probe that you plug into. You've got one leg of the AC power running to a whole bunch of things. The control board up here actually completes the circuit for let's say this motor. It will connect this to the red wire through some electronics and then it will power that. So think of this as the blue line powering a whole bunch of stuff, but you still got to connect the red wire to this stuff in order to power it. This red wire is coming over here, it snakes up here, and it goes up to the logic board here. It controls some FETs that will run power back to a lot of devices, including this fan, including connecting the circuit here, which will turn on this heater along with this heater together. This blue line over here will turn on this heater and this heater together. They probably should have used a black wire or some other one that's not blue. There's a white wire that controls this motor, another blue wire that controls this light, a red wire that controls the third heating element here. You'll also see an intake fan over here that will blow air onto the circuitry. If you ever work on these small appliances, it always has an internal cavity where when you cook, it can splatter and stuff and it's not going to get on the electronics but it also needs an external plate like this over here and most of the time it's held together by these little clips towards the front and it secures it from the back with a whole bunch of screws i just wanted to show you guys what's in this thing before i put it back together the tricky part of putting it all together is keeping all the screws straight i made a mistake with the feet here they're actually interchangeable and if you flip them around it doesn't work so let's check out the rotisserie and see if it spins still i'm most interested in that thing working and it not coming loose let me put something in there so we can easily see it Definitely is still working. If I open the door, I think it stops. And I can't manually turn it on. Anyway, good job. I call that a success. We saved the oven. Keep this feature working. Keep this thing out of the landfill. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.